Football is on the air. KMPH TV Sports presents Bulldog Football. Tonight, live from Veteran Stadium in Long Beach, the 49ers of Long Beach meet the Bulldogs of Fresno. Fresno State's junior quarterback is considered by some the best quarterback on the West Coast. And this also happens to be Kevin Sweeney's 22nd birthday. Sweeney, coming off perhaps the best game of his career against UOP, has 48 career touchdown passes. Balance is the key to the Fresno State offense, and freshman Kelly Skipper has given the Bulldogs a big lift. Skipper is the second leading rusher, back of James Williams, and the second leading receiver, back of Gene Taylor, with 22 catches. And for Fresno State coach Jim Sweeney, this could be a big night. A victory means Fresno State wins the PCAA title with a perfect 7-0 record and puts them into the California Bowl December the 14th against Bowling Green. Doug Gaynor. Take the Roberts. Gaynor under heavy pressure. And Gaynor is going to be sacked back at the 31-yard line. And again, it's Mike Walker on the charge. Look at the fired up Bulldogs. That is the 50th time this season Doug Gaynor has been sacked. If there's a weakness in Gaynor's makeup, it's the fact that he's so deliberate back there, he's reluctant to, to, to throw the ball, uh, and he'll hang on to it sometimes too late. Is that the 28? Skipper fumbles. And Long Beach has made the recovery at the 35. Coming up with it is Tom Hensley, the defensive end of Long Beach. Here, here's a handoff to Kelly. Kelly just didn't have control. If he tried to grab the ball instead of forming a pocket. And running backs are Sarton and Roberts. The tight end, Trigero, back and forth. Sarton, first down and inside. Sarton to the 10, to the 5. And he's finally put down. Martin Sarton. From the 12. Gaynor. He's got plenty of time. Good scramble. Gaynor to the 5. Gaynor, touchdown! Doug Gaynor running it in from 12 yards. Placing Mark Scambre. Split backs, Thomas and Williams for Kevin Sweeney. Taylor to the left, Baker to the right. Look out, oh, Sweeney is hit hard. Pouring through there was Stacy Alexander. Blitzing from his cornerback spot. And he blindsided Kevin Sweeney. And Kevin getting up ever so slowly. Oh. Kevin Sweeney steps up. Fires the pass to Taylor. Makes the grab at the 47. First down for Fresno State. Now for the Bulldogs from the 47 of Fresno State. Sweeney again across the middle to Stephen Baker. Baker makes a nice move in the Long Beach territory, dropped at the 43 of the 49ers. Going to be very close to a first. It is first down, Fresno State. This is the type of pass that Kevin's going to have to throw. Once they establish the short passing game, it'll open up their runs because it'll move the linebackers deeper. With Lemmers dropping back deep, they snap it to him quickly, and he gets it away. Stephen Baker will take the ball at the 39. Baker to the 40. Try to get some blocking room. Here he comes up the sidelines. Penalty oh. marker is dropped. Baker to the 40. Baker to the 30. To the 20. But they may call it back. That would be a 61-yard return for a score. But there's a penalty marker dropped back here around the 40-yard line. It was a very belated call. He had already broken into the clear. And he was 20 yards downfield when the official threw the flag. I Gainer pumps once again and he sacked a great tackle made there by Anthony Nunn oh what a defensive play by Nunn he would not be fooled by the pumps he played off his block and then made a good sure tackle on Doug Gaynor fortunately uh, for the Bulldogs Nunn has a lot of speed otherwise Gaynor would have been around him Fresno Sweeney looking to the left he may run it comes up to the line of scrimmage and goes to Baker Baker at the 10-5 
Kevin was awfully close to the line of scrimmage. It wasn't called, but we'll have to see a replay of that. That is the 49th career touchdown pass thrown by the junior, Kevin Sweeney. And for Stephen Baker, another great grab. Let's watch Kevin now. He's coming up. He throws. He, uh, he was back. He, was, he, was, he threw from the 50-yard line. He was two yards behind the line of scrimmage when he released the ball. Sheldon gains in motion. Across the middle. Intercepted. Coming up with the ball, Bryce Malavesi. Bryce Malavesi played in this area at Huntington Beach. His father, Ray, of course, former head coach of the Los Angeles Rams. And Bryce Malavesi makes the interception at the 50. Here across the middle to Martin Sarton. He's got some running room to the 40. Out of bounds near midfield. Martin Sarton teaming up with Doug Gaynor, picking up a gain for almost 30 yards. To the left. Gaynor going for Lockett. He's down there. Lockett has it. And Lockett is pulled out of bounds around the seven. Lockett had Dollar Hyde beaten by a step, and Gaynor put the ball right on the money. Is really kicking down to there. about 50. Quante Hampton wide to the left. Running backs are Sarton and Roberts for Long Beach. First down, remember. Gaynor, penalty marker is dropped as the ball is intercepted. Intercepted by Rod Webster. Webster is brought down at the 23, but coming back. Be a tough opener for Boyd Grant and company. Sweeney airing it all the way out to Baker. Baker's got his man beat. Baker made a great catch. Down to the five-yard line of Long Beach. That ball had to be thrown 60 yards through the air by Kevin Sweeney. And a great, great catch by Stephen Baker. Second and goal from the Long Beach four. In motion, Taylor. The give us to Williams. Williams, touchdown, Fresno State. And did you notice who was leading cheers for Williams? Kevin Sweeney. Yeah, he after he handed off. That's <laughs> right. Sure. The blocking up front was awesome. Mike Savage, the center, clearing a path along with Terry Lafitte for number 29, James Williams. Seven, Fresno State. Doug Gaynor has a man wide open. That's Templeton. He's at the 40. Templeton pulled down at the 48. The tackle by Rorick Kelly. Earlier in the season, yet won that game 33-30. Down 23 to nothing in Hawaii, and yet you win it 33-30. Gaynor can't get away this time. The sack of Doug Gaynor made by George Peterson, a 225-pound senior from Fresno. Went to Clovis West High School. They beat Florida State. Now we've talked about the 52 sacks that Gaynor has taken. Kevin Sweeney has been sacked 24 times. Gaynor in trouble again. Peterson's got him. Peterson grabbed him around the left ankle and wouldn't let loose, just like a bulldog that he is. Well, this has been the most effective part of the Bulldogs' defense. When they put pressure on Gaynor, they've been very successful. When they give him all day to throw, he, he'll find a receiver because he's, he's got an outstanding arm. Oh, let me go. Peterson. Defensive unit. It's Baker back deep now. Wesson is not there. He's on the sidelines. Nice kick by Lemmers. Baker takes it at the 16. Up to the 20. Gets a good block from Olsen. Baker still on his feet to the 40. Baker still going and he's working up to the 50-yard line. Oh, what a great run by Stephen Baker. Well, what is that flag for? Well, we are about to find out. That was flag was thrown by the referee who, who came from all the way up the field and was thrown. It's a, it's a dead ball foul against the, the 49ers again. That was a punt of 53 yards by Lemers and a sensational weaving run in heavy traffic of 34 yards by Baker. Watch it again. Here it is. Watch Baker now. He's a very quick There's runner. a great block by Olsen. There's a, yep, we saw that now. Watch Baker turn. He'll cut back to the left now. Another good block by, by Webster. There, there comes Baker again. Now let's watch the late hit. There comes, there, there the late hit come in. There's another personal foul against the 49 A couple of nights ago. Play action fake. There's the reverse. Here comes Baker at the 30. 
Baker hurdles his way to the 25 and then is knocked out of bounds. Gary Ryan bumping him out of bounds at the 25. Baker looks like he might be quite a track star the way he hurdled the opposition. That's going to bring up a fourth down now. Here comes the field goal team in, I believe. So it'll be a 22-yard field goal attempt by Barry Belli. Belli drills it right through. Perfect. Belli gives Fresno State three more points, and the Bulldogs now leave 17 to 7 over Long Seconds to see what they can do here. And Fresno State has a 10-point lead at 17 to 7. Gainer looking for Ori. Gainer in trouble. Gainer is sacked. The tackle is made by Mark Olson. Olson has got him again. Oh, that is the seventh quarterback sack this year for Mark Olson. Well, I must remind you, he comes from Santa Barbara, my hometown. I knew you were going to say that sooner or later. Gainer, he has time. Now he's running out of time. Nichols has him, and he throws it down. That should have been intentionally grounding right there. There was no, he, he just threw that to get rid of the ball. He, he didn't he, have any Long Beach backs within a three yard vicinity of that ball. I think the referee called it dead, called it a sack. Watch Byron here. Nichols gets him, and that is the fifth time that Gaynor has been sacked. Sarton, oh, was he nailed. Sarton was belted in his tracks, and the hit made by Anthony Collier. Collier really poured into him. A 240-pound junior stopping Martin Sarton. Look there, at that. Look at that big number 92. Collier, Anthony Collier, hit him right at the line of scrimmage. And the Dogs have a 17-7 lead with 10 and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Gaynor, look out. Olsen is right after him. Just did get it loose over to Martin Sarton. Sarton to the 30, 40. Sarton out of bounds near midfield. Out of bounds at the 49. Rorick Kelly, the right cornerback, was able to get him out at the 49. Here's a screen pass thrown by Gaynor. Sarton, there comes the lineman out as a one-man screen. Gets a good block on number five, Stewart. Sarton has good speed. Sits, finally knocked out of see. Lock it. Wide receiver to the right side. Cutting across the middle. Gaynor looking for him. Going to lock it. And it, oh, it's almost intercepted. Oh, did Lockett take a hit? Well, that's a legitimate play. Once the ball has reached that plane, the, the receiver's fair game. And Michael and Stewart really lowered the boom. Ooh, here. right here. Stewart really gave it to him. Time this season for Williams. Out of the shotgun. Kevin Sweeney loads it up. Across the middle. Complete to Baker. Baker at the 36. Baker gets loose. Baker still on his feet. And finally is put down at the 24. I tell you, they call him Stephen Baker, the touchdown maker. He's also a thrill a second. He's an exciting runner. He takes his pass, and, and watch, it's, so it's so exciting to watch him run. He, he, watch him, he reverses field now. He gets hit, reverses field. They could have called a late hit on the 49ers again. Watch here, he gets, as he gets down, he gets hit. Then a two fellas give in late. 22 yards and four carries tonight. Full house backfield. Williams, touchdown, Fresno State. Well, that was a big drive. I'll say because Long Beach had just closed the gap to seven points, and the Bulldogs come right back and show them a thing or two. Gainer has gained 64 yards tonight, including a touchdown run of 12 yards. Monty Hampton in motion. From the 18 to Fresno State. Doug Gaynor in trouble this time, a lot of trouble, and he is going to be sacked. It is Greg Ramsey, the junior from Colinga. This is down and 20 for Long Beach. Doug Gaynor in trouble again, and Gaynor goes down. It's Byron Nichols. Nichols, a defensive back, a junior from San Diego, and he probably has some relatives up here tonight. 